like to, but I'm going to take Andrew Luck because mm. he has a top five offensive line skip. Three of the four players were drafted in the first round of the offensive line. Mm -hmm. Quentin Nelson was first team all pro. Yep. Ryan Kelly, first rounder. Costanzo yep. for, and Braden Smith was a second round pick. Mm -hmm. So they, they have a top really good. They have a top three offensive line. Mm -hmm. Marlon Mack yep. did an unbelievable job. Remember mm -hmm. he ran the ball down the Cowboys. You know him very well. I do. Return of the Mac. That's what yep. he was playing in the, in the mm. stadium that night. Mm. Killing him. Um, T.Y. Hilton. Mm. Love him. They drafted Paris Campbell out of Ohio State. Mm. He's good. The, the speedster. Like him. Andrew Luck. You remember, Skip? Eric Ebron was the first-round pick of Detroit Lions, and they thought he was a bust. Well, he turned him into a pro bowler. Mm -hmm. So I love what they did, did offensively. They signed Justin Houston in free agency. I think they'll be better. I believe in order, because it's still a, you know, you need to win, but it's still a stat of war. Mm -hmm. You know, Skip, back in the day, you go 13 and 3, 14 and 4, you throw, I'll be 14, 4, 14 mm -hmm. and 2, 13 and 3, you throw 25 touchdowns, 3,000 yards, you're going to be the MVP. Mm -hmm. No more. You need to win 11 or 12 games, but it's going to take somewhere between 4,500 mm -hmm. and 5,000 yards, up with a 30 plus 35 touchdowns in order for you to win this reward. I believe Andrew Luck could probably be somewhere around the high 30s, maybe low 40s. Mm. They'll, win, they'll win 11 games and he'll be the MVP. Mm. I will give you this. If it's up to the MVP voters, many of whom dug in before Andrew Luck's draft and said, he's the next John Elway, <laughs> they will leap to put him number one on their ballot because they have had egg on all their faces for all these years because he has never come close to being John Elway or living up to their hype pre-draft, which was the obvious RG3 draft. Mm -hmm. So... My problem with Andrew Luck is good luck with that because you realize he's been hurt the whole offseason. Yeah. He's got some calf pull that is it's much be much more serious than Kevin Durant. He must right? be pulled. He must have mm -hmm. tore it. Uh, I don't know, but again, Frank Reich said, the, I think it was yesterday, that, gee, when he was watching Kevin go down, obviously with his Achilles right. tear, that he thought immediately of his quarterback, well, we got to overprotect here. We got to be overly cautious mm -hmm. with him. So... This is another cauliflower body victim. <laughs> this is another guy who's, it's, it's Cam Newton-esque in that he's taken so many shots and he doesn't run with the ball like Cam does, yeah. but he stands and stands and stands some yeah. more in the pocket until he gets obliterated. Yeah. Will the line keep him upright? It might, but I, I'm saying good luck with him staying healthy for 16 games. Okay. The truth is, the odds on favorite should be a prohibitive favorite because of his head coach and his offensive coordinator. This race is rigged for Patrick Mahomes <laughs> to win it every year and to be back to back to back to back MVPs because Andy Reid just does that for his quarterbacks. And I'm going to refer back to the quote that was in the Mike Sando, the athletic piece on Patrick Mahomes the other day. This is from a former head coach who says, you play for Andy Reid, and you're going to have numbers to the point where what's-his-name thinks he's a Hall of Famer, what's-his-name is Donovan now, McNair. Now how do you call the man what's-his-name, Skip? <laughs> he know exactly. Now, you know who thinks he's a Hall of Famer, but you don't know his name. <laughs> okay, but, but it was a shot he was taking. It was like a sarcastic right. what's-his-name. Yeah. He's a what's-his-name, and he thinks he's a Hall of Famer because he put up very good numbers yeah. under Andy Reid. And then this former head coach goes on to say, I just don't know if you continue, can continue to play the way he, meaning Patrick Mahomes, plays and not have the big mistakes. He said he does remind him of Favre and that he's going to have some Favre moments, mm -hmm. as in big interceptions that could lose a game. Right. We saw that on that Monday night here at the Coliseum. Yep. He made a bunch of big mistakes Three in that game. Three interceptions and two fumbles. Okay, so that could undercut the Andy Reid effect, but Andy Reid handpicked this kid. He traded up in the draft to get this kid. And he has a huge ego and he's going to do everything in his power to make this kid another MVP. And he, okay? we traded up, Skip, and they were like, what? 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 You bypassed Deshaun Watson after Deshaun, what Deshaun okay. had did to Alabama okay. for two years. He won the last year. It's like, I understand he can throw the ball. He got a strong arm, but I don't know about that. Mm. Who's your dark horse? Uh, so, then I'm going down the list to Aaron Rodgers. I already told you that is a train wreck waiting to happen in Green Bay with the new head coach, only four years older than Aaron Rodgers. Your guy Carson Wentz. Dad, my dark horse. He's nine to one. He's not a dark horse. He's, he? he's, he's out of the race. Well, no, he's not. No quarterback in this league has more pressure on him going into this year than Carson Wentz does. 
He just got the most guaranteed money of anybody in this league, $108 million guaranteed. He lost his safety net. Nick Foles is now a Jacksonville Jaguar. And guess what's going to happen? Mm. They're going to take him to the Super Bowl. They're going to win it. They're going to tear that contract mm. up and get more money. Oh, you're talking about Nick Foles? No, oh, no, okay. no, no. Nick Foles ain't going nowhere. Oh, okay. Play. Stop. Really? But you, Boy, why, he went somewhere the last two it, years. Hold up. Why are you so upset? You know what? what, what it's, it's not the fact that Nick Foles has all, I mean, Carson Wentz has all the pressure. Mm -hmm. You're upset that your guy is nowhere to even be seen. Who's my guy? You know who I your don't guy know who is. my guy is. Your guy, quarterback. Back? Number four, the jersey, oh, yes. Okay. Look, I, I got what's that. What's his He's more Brady-esque. He, he, well, Brady on the list. Yeah, well, he's all the way down at 12 to 1. Okay. And I'm surprised he's that high because Baker Mayfield is tied with him at 12 to 1. Who has the better receiving core, Baker or Brady? Help me out. What? How about five times the better receiving cores in Cleveland yeah. as opposed but, to but New England? But here's the thing, Skip. Right? He'll throw, and let me look, he's going to have a high completion percentage because of his backs can catch the football out of the backfield. Uh, Julian Edelman, when he comes back out, what he has, a thumb mm -hmm. issue that might have him sidelined for a while, but he'll catch a bunch of balls. Brady will win, and he'll have he'll have uh, okay numbers. Now, I don't know if he's not going to have Pat Mahomes-type numbers. Well, he doesn't have Randy Moss Right, anymore. right, that's what I'm saying. Right. You, know, when, you know, we know what he... We know what Tom can do, Skip. But when you go 13 and three, you're 14 and two. You're always in your quarterback. You're always going to be in the discussion mm -hmm. because if you have that kind of record, it's hard to have that kind of record and your quarterback be bad, bad. Mm -hmm. So he's always going to be in the discussion. The question is, will he have the stats to match up a Patrick Mahomes or an mm -hmm. Andrew Luck or mm -hmm. some of these guys that's going to have maybe better stats, but maybe not as many wins? The answer is no, he will not. But he will win the AFC Championship game probably in Foxborough, over Patrick Mahomes, whom he beat head-to-head -head twice last year. That's it, period, end of story. Also down the list is Drew Brees at 10-1. to 1. That would be a good bet, because I'm gonna, I, I'll am gonna, give him a shot. Well, you had Drew last year, and okay. I told you it wasn't going to happen. I didn't have him. Oh, you had your Drew Brees, go win it. Oh, my, I said, my homeboy got this thing in the bag. Now, for a true dark horse who's not even on the board, and somebody at this table always has the courage of his conviction and goes way out to the end of the limb, while the other one just picks Chalk, chalk, no, chalk. I don't do it. Rock, you chalk, Jayhawk. <laughs> you're you're Mr. Don't do Jayhawk. It. You better not say it. I dug in, don't. and I'm sticking by it right here, right now. It is early. I reserve the right to change come September the 5th or whenever our Friday show is before the... What is I think it, it'll eight? be the 6th. 6th, that's correct. Yeah. September 6th. I could change. I reserve I the right. That's that. That's you that's said that's early. That's, right? our three, that's our three-year anniversary. It, it is. September 6th is. Yeah. Where'd it go? How did we last this long? Yeah. You and I. I don't know how you did huh? it. We, we were a train wreck <laughs> waiting to happen. Never know. Every day. Yeah. Never know. Off the board, <laughs> I'm sticking with my pick of about two months ago. Yeah, I remember. Ben Roethlisberger. Okay. You have said he that. He led this league in completions and yards last year. Mm -hmm. He had A.B., but did he have A.B., or was A.B. at his throat the whole year? Was A.B. more detriment than than attribute you know being a help detrimental yeah. attribute yeah well, well here's the thing i think they were at each other's throat they uh, were I, I think the, the the respect was not where it needed yeah. to be between two great players yeah and when you have that one has to go and okay. we know which one was gonna go okay so here comes ben back with a vengeance to, to the point you keep making he did take teammates on a little trip to his getaway in georgia, georgia. was it yeah. yeah i think he had the place yeah. at reynolds plantation yeah one of those and he's trying to become a leader. Can you snap your fingers and become a leader mm -hmm. at age 37? No, nope. probably not. But you, you can re reapply yourself. Mm -hmm. you, you still have a loaded football team with, you talked about Andrew Luck's line. Th this is a top three line. It's somewhere, uh, maybe... Maybe, maybe four. Maybe Indy's get, one, Dallas is two, Philly. Philly's up in there somewhere, but Pittsburgh's Pittsburgh, right yeah, up in there. Top five, absolutely. So they will protect Ben. And Juju it will be on a mission this year to say... I can show you, I can pick up the slack. Okay. And again, that's a James Washington, he's going to emerge. He's gonna have a breakout year. Eli Rogers is there, Vance McDonald is there. James Conner. Dante Moncrief is there. James Conner's caught 55 balls last year. This team is loaded and primed with the motivation to show they will not miss A B or Given, given Ben's history. Do you believe the voters will vote for him to win MVP? Maybe. Sure. 
It'd be like a feel-good bounce-back story. Oh, no. Yeah? <laughs> I don't, I don't know about that. how good the season is. Yeah, it's got to be. I don't even think he'd even got consideration. Mm -hmm. Well, they they had a losing mm -hmm. record. But 51, 50, the seventh most passing yards in NFL history. So you're you're saying he's disqualified? No, I'm, I'm not saying, Skip, I'm, I'm not saying that. But you have to understand the voters are human. Mm. Okay. The voters well, are human. Well, I don't understand that. I thought they should be objective. If you put up the numbers... And you have the W's to go with it? Well, hell, T.O. should have been the first battle Hall of Famer then. Really? You say if you put up the numbers, is that the argument, Jen? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Wait, oh, you mean you. Team Obliterator? Uh, what? Oh, so that, let's, let's not mm -hmm. make it seem that A.B. And, and Le'Veon was the only ones that fought here, Skip Bayless. Yeah. Mm. They, <laughs> mm. Okay. But Ben performed last year, and he's going to... A.B. Uh, performed. Yeah. A.B. went to the Pro Bowl. He, yeah. had, he led the NFL in touchdown catches, Skip. They missed you the playoffs. Was Ben quarterback on that team? Oh, you saw, now, see, you want to hype him up. Oh, he had the most completion, mm. 5,100 yards. Mm. But they missed the playoffs, Skip. Okay. One of us had the guts. <laughs> yeah. One the of one us said, had the guts. I'm going way out on a limb and picking the I second see, choice. I didn't say I'm going out on a limb. Yeah, I said did. I'm taking Andrew Luck. Okay. A lot of those guys Big you like you. on this list, yeah. though. Yeah. 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 I don't walk into him. I, I almost picked no walking to him. Well, I was but you said I'd have been a homer, so I can't I pick a walking to him. Homer. Yeah, you do. He would. I'd say you'd be wrong. But... <laughs> Surprising. I know who uh, I, I would have been wrong if I would have picked mm. somebody in that same division. Hmm. The team that won it to the last three years? No, I'm talking about the quarterback. Really? Yeah. Wait, are we talking about the same Dak Prescott who, against the Eagles in the two fourth quarters in overtime, went 24 of 28 for 348 yards? Skip, that was last that year, but you don't ever Four mention touchdowns you, you and don't, no Okay, interceptions. what happened their sophomore wow. seasons? Huh. I don't know. Who has the second Let's most wins to Tom Brady over the last three years? Dak season. Prescott. And you know what? He might be affected if his guy Zeke continues uh, yeah. to play out. Let's get Reggie Bush's take on the situation. <laughs> and all things Zeke, he'll answer our questions next. AT&T has dropped NFL Network from AT&T U-verse and DirecTV Now. Fans will miss out on the number one destination for everything NFL, including year-round coverage of all 32 teams. Go to I1NFLNetwork.com to find a provider today. Taco Bell's nacho fries are already gold. Now, turn up the heat with the new Steak Reaper Ranch Fries. Loaded with steak and drizzled with the fiery heat of the Carolina Reaper Ranch Sauce. Bring home this Red Hot Remix with Taco Bell Delivery. Grab some pens. Would Shakespeare have chosen just some pens? Methinks tool pens would serve my lady well. Thanks. And a unicorn notebook. Get everything on your list. This week's doorbuster, notebooks for 10 cents. 10 cents in-store or online from the advisors at Office Depot Office Max.